Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So this video is going to be a sale video. Real quick, pimp job I did today. Uh, along with a few others, which I don't want to show yet. I'll just show this one because the others are just almost complete, but not quite. Uh, this is the Strider RC. Uh, I think the blade was modified, uh, cut off to be a Tonto, but I like it a lot. It's actually pretty damn cool. I need to sharpen this and shine this area up. Uh, but the acid stone wash looks amazing on there. And then you have the satin carbon fiber with a new pattern carbon fiber from Black Slate. It's got a, it's like a little bit different. I guess it's a little bit uh, more showy, I guess, than uh, the usual carbon fiber. But this is like concealed carry style, just nice and smooth and contoured. Love smooth carbon fiber. Love it. It's my favorite finish for carbon fiber for sure. Thing is gorgeous. This is quick, guys. I've noticed like guys on the forums hate YouTubers, guys. I don't know what the hell that's all about. I, I guess I was kind of ignorant to it for a while, but but apparently they've hated us for a while. But uh, a lot of forum members that are also YouTubers, and I don't know where they what their deal is with that, but. I've seen some threads where they're bashing some of my buddies on here and me, and uh, I just can't believe some of the bullshit I, I, I see coming out of these assholes' mouths. Like, it's just, you got nothing better to do than create threads for bashing on, you know, hardworking YouTubers. I mean, everybody I know in here has a full-time job, you know, they work hard and to provide for their family and everything like that. They do this as a hobby. I mean, I do this as a job. But you guys know what I do, so I mean, you know, you guys know that I'm not some lazy sack of shit. I know that all these guys out here, like Jay Davis, Juju, uh, Chosen 7x7, like Vance, I know they're hardworking people. I mean, Sebastian, and uh, you know, just to sit there and bash on them for taking the time out to try to entertain you, like, Jesus. You don't see us, like, bashing forum members. That's sign that's just ridiculous, guys. But anyway, on to the knife sale. Uh, this is going to be ranging from the ridiculously expensive to pretty pretty reasonable, but most of them, you know, I don't have a lot of like cheaper stuff. So, uh, first up, just going to get this out of the way because yeah, this one, you know, avert your eyes because you're not going to be able to afford this. I can't afford this thing. This is this is <laughs> this is anonymous's. He wants me to sell it for him. He figured it might get somebody, one of you crazy collectors out there. This is a custom Carrillo Minotaur or monitor number five. This is definitely a one of a kind Chad Nichols Damascus steel with the crazy nightmare, freaking epic nightmare grind on there. Gorgeous. Sort of sharp, it's kind of a safe queen. You know, this whole beveled area should be sharp if you want to sharpen it nice and mirror polish. But it's kind of sharp, but it's more of a uh, display piece, I guess. But it definitely is functional. Titanium frame lock, black G10, silver 12, black G10. A large lanyard hole, G10 pocket clip. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, looks like crap in your pocket. Tie frame lock, centering's perfect. Thing is rock solid. Awesome knife. Two thousand two hundred dollars. So go ahead and sell your car, guys. But honestly, guys, if there's some guys out there, I know that they like the high dollar stuff. And uh, this is definitely a unique ass knife. I mean, it's very unique. I'm I'm happy that I got to handle it. Um, as uncomfortable as it is. But it's definitely cool. I mean, it's not less. It's no more. It's no less comfortable than a uh, Benchmade Adamas, let's say. But definitely a very unique knife, one of a kind. Uh, something that you could sell at a knife show, trade for something crazy. It's just a, you know, Carrillo makes some crazy knives. It comes with a nice case there. So that's expensive guy number one. I think I can't. This is another one from Anonymous here. You just pick this up in a knife show if you guys want. This is dumb because I need this. I need this sale for myself, but uh, he wants to sneak in here. Got the Superfly with the with their laser gay um, coating. Uh, I think this one's. I think he's selling for three hundred. Thing is brand spanking new, perfect condition. Uh, papers are actually sitting upstairs for some reason. But let me know. Those have special instructions. This one and this one. So if you want one of these, just uh, give me a phone call. Uh, there's go to to anonymous. I don't even know why I'm wasting time on his stuff. But you know. So first up, we have the Spyderco PPT uh, 250 for this one. 
a little bit extra if you want the acid wash and you want to turn this titanium into the fallout treatment which I think would look really cool on here and I'd love to do that before I got rid of it but as is uh, 250 uh, full titanium uh, anodized Damascus look to it satin blade thing is in perfect condition never use this knife at all uh, this is my second PPT the first one got a lot of use I gave it away because I got one of these for free and uh, ended up basically making this one my but I never touched it I just never never touched it after that I think I had too many knives in my collection and I had the PPT for so long but you guys have heard me saying good things about this knife and when I sell this I definitely will be getting another one down the road as soon as possible but as this one is right now 250 uh, we can discuss the fallout treatment on it uh, which I think would be really cool for maybe a little bit extra just because I'm itching to do it so let me know if you want that one guys just text me or give me a call tonight before like 2 a.m. You know, I know it's late, but I'll be up late. So next we got the the Deviant Blade Chinese. Uh, this one is going to be 325. It's custom, completely handmade. I got it for 375. Uh, everything on this, the tolerance is a perfect, flawlessly executed blue black G10 on the bottom with the grayish bolster there. A2 tool steel, aluminum backspacer titanium frame lock just very handmade I love the fact that this thing is so like handmade you can see the tooling marks some places uh, rock solid early lockup you know no blade play never had a lick of blade play to it thing is once you get the flick down on this thing it's it's just like a spider co I mean you can just whips out very comfortable nice angle to it I love this knife so it's the only custom I could possibly part with because my other customs are like the Anzo and the uh, the hoe back and I can't really do anything about getting rid of those I'm too addicted so you guys this one's 325 let me know uh, next up is the oh, where'd you go you little bastard where'd you go this is the second time I'm doing this video I'm losing knives oh there it is uh, this is a hundred bucks bad blood folder this knife is awesome uh, it's just I have too many knives and this is just it falls in a category of a knife that I have too many of that I would carry before it uh, but it has a little bit of use to it but not much it has the acid wash blade which looks gorgeous on this guy it's got this really nice edge to it I mean I, I would just play with this thing just by just trying to make this thing sharp as hell probably the sharpest knife I've ever I've ever sharpened like it's the sharpest thing I've ever sharpened I guess I don't know how sharp it is right now because I did use it before I sharpened it but uh, it's got the acid wash treatment on it <clears throat> Pivot needs to be tightened on this guy, as with probably most of the other knives in here, just to get the centering. Yeah. Well, forest green G10 natural rock pattern, early lockup. I'm um, looking at you, Mind's Mirror. You know you want it. Thing's awesome. A little heavy but definitely a rock solid knife from uh, Hallmark Knives, 100 bucks with the box. Most of these have their boxes, so moving on. Next up, we got the, uh, the final D2 blade, fixed blade. Uh, this is a prototype, I do not want to sell it. If I do sell it, you're gonna be paying 350 for it with the sheath, just because it's my last one. And uh, this one had uh, a lot more work done to it than the others. This has the uh, D2 logo put there, the Tough Knives logo, which I'm going to buff this guy out, and I redo the logo there, just because uh, it needs to be done. Uh, the spine has been rounded on here, and uh, really nicely rounded. Just everything kind of uh, really mirror polished and rounded. It's my personal one, and I just loved it, so. But uh, this one's 350 with the sheath. It's got the Midnight Tiger scales on it, which is my nickname for Gavco. My little Midnight, my Midnight Tiger. I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> uh, humor. Most guys, most people on here don't get it, but you know, I like to joke around. So, what do we got next here? So I guess uh, that's what I'm gonna do for tonight. Maybe uh, throw in the Rock Lobster here for 165. Uh, has a little shit on there right now that's not rust. I guarantee you this thing has been clean forever until this week when I cut a piece of pizza with it. 
and forgot to clean some of the cheese off of the tip there. <laughs> well, you know, it comes pre-cheesed, so, you know. But now I clean these guys up for you, definitely. And also, if you guys want the pimp jobs on them, you know, you, if you want to buy it, you buy it outright right now and then pay for the pimp job as well. Um, you know, but the, you know, it's not going to be an instant pimp job. But this thing is in perfect condition, besides some cheese on there, which will come off very easily. Uh, this one's 165 just because it's perfect condition and they go for two, over two. But uh, Anzo Design Rock Lobster. I feel like I already called it something different by accident. Spider Coat Chalkway 250, Fallout Treatment, Acid Wash Blade will be touched up as well. Early lockup, thing is smooth as hell. I love this knife and I don't want to sell it, but you know, desperate times call for selling knives. I'm not desperate, but you know. Just there's things that don't, you know, need to have. And uh, some of these knives, I just don't need to have them right now, or I can get them back at some point. I mean, they are kind of unique, some of them, because of the, you know, if I bought another one of these, I probably wouldn't do this to it again, and I'd absolutely love this thing. I've carried the hell out of this one. Uh, 250, guys. I'm not going to go any less on that, just because it's just, I me mean, S30V blade, the thing is just razor sharp. It's got this awesome titanium, like, just like the Sage 2, like, it's just so smooth. It just whips open so easily and just light as a feather. But this one's got the full titanium on it and the full uh, full uh, fallout treatment. And I just love it. So Chalkway. And it's also got the modified down here. It's usually an angle. But I did modify that. So it uh, just kind of made more sense that way. It's more comfortable. Okay. Any more I'm going to throw in here at the end? Hmm. Uh, first collaboration with me and me and Anonymous. It's been slightly edited. D2, first starburst pattern right here. Uh, it's got the acid wash, which was added later on. This knife is just a perfect knife for everything. Pretty much the perfect size. I mean, it's a four and a half inch blade, I think, or maybe five. I'm not sure. I haven't checked in a while. Uh, very comfortable. Kind of like a small BK2, full flat ground. Uh, this one was made by me and Anaz. I made the shape, he edited the grind because I couldn't grind back then. I did the handles and uh, it's an awesome knife with the sheath. Uh, this one will be 250, or not 250, I'm sorry, 225. Uh, it's definitely awesome. It's got a nice pommel there on the back. It's a cool knife for sure. I've been carrying this one in my backpack for a while. And uh, I'm going to sell it just so I can uh, make another one. Something else that I can throw in there. I think. This is my uh, my new one that I'm carrying all the time everywhere I go. Need to make a sheath for it, but I love this thing. But yep, 225 guys. D2 steel. Ah, oh, anything else here? Hmm. Hmm. You guys see anything you want here? Let me know. Uh. The Silent Soldier Flipper will not go. I've had a lot of people text me and ask me. Uh, this one means something to me because I was a gift from Jason. And, uh, you know, that's just something I don't want to sell. Um, the Bo Carminos, guys, the best damn production knife I've ever freaking handled. This thing, I mean, I hate saying that. I hate saying that because I've said it before. But this thing is so damn solid, I don't think, like, uh, I don't think anything could just could make this thing less perfect. It's just... It's so solid, and it's just held an edge really well for N690. Uh, heat treat's done really well, very comfortable. Only issue I've ever had a slight bit is one of the pot clip screws came a little bit loose and it moved. The pot clip moved a slight bit, but that uh, was fixed by tightening the pot clip screw. But there is no blade play, and the thing is flawless. Just flawless. It kind of sits a little bit to the right there. Uh, it looks like it does, but it, it does not move from there. I mean, it doesn't move at all. It doesn't rub. If you push hard, it's perfect. So, guys, I recommend it for sure. I'm doing a small review here in the middle of the video. Um, other than that, I mean, you guys see some. I have the large onslaught, the limited edition onslaught, which I won't sell. 560, uh, Little Temperance 2, which I also would not sell. Uh, we'll sell the whale shark um, G2 
just because I like the new one so much more because it has that you know ability to tighten the pivot and uh, satin stone wash but you know it's a nice freaking knife but I'm not selling it for much less than uh, what I got it for because I have not used it very many times really at all I've carried it I don't like the way it carries in the pocket it's a little high but yeah I might not sell this one because I don't have any Microtex besides this one anymore so but if you really want it guys uh, give me an offer on that guy but you know I said you know around retail so um, got a Hoagie X01 got a defective uh, Surefire uh, Delta I'm sorry uh, this thing's perfectly new just uh, the damn pommel broke off inside there uh, the pot clip it does not come out it's still sturdy it you know it's got some movement but that's always like that uh, but the pommel it broke off in there uh, basically I have the new pommel for it but you just have to get that broken off screw out of there and when you open it up you'll see that I tried to do that and it looks like shit on the other side but it's not to the point where you know you can't fix it easily I didn't break it or anything like that but the thing's great I love it uh, this one 350 just because I think it's for a $400 knife I'm not sure so I'll go to 325 uh, on this one or a trade too I don't know it's not one I want to sell too much because I do want to fix it and it's a very I wanted to have a knife that has a multi multiple uses like this and this one was perfect for that but it just annoys the hell out of me that's broken down there it just bugs the shit out of me I can't even stand it seriously I'll put it in my pocket right now so that's all I got today guys oh and the and the gravitator I'm sorry uh, this one I don't want to sell it but I will sell it for the price that I've been offered for it which is uh, 230 as is a limited edition the thing is like the most close to custom production knife I've ever handled I mean it's it's like smoother than a baby's ass this thing is awesome 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 bench made my favorite bench made and also I got one more 300 bucks this is for anonymous as well I think I might have shown this already I can't remember I've done this video twice but super fly which is super gay looking but perfect condition very collectible highly sought after spider co 300 bucks brand spanking new perfect condition this one is for anonymous so this one and the uh, Carrillo have special instructions so they'll be separate from everything else but Anywho, I might have said that already. But anyway, that's all I got for you tonight. Uh, I'll, I'll try to figure out some more tomorrow. And maybe some of the ones that don't sell tonight might be the one that gets pimped tomorrow. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great night, and thank you for watching the video. Peace.